I rise tonight to speak on a great <coughs> South Australian initiative related to troubled youth. Three weeks ago, I was fortunate enough to travel to Lee Creek and Yankanina to take part in Operation Flinders, a remote outback adventure program for at-risk 14 to 18-year-olds. While the name sounds like an operation that I might have participated in during my Navy days, this is a civilian program, but it does take many elements from defence training. The, the program was founded in 1991 by Pamela Murray White, who is sadly no longer with us. Pam was a teacher and a former army officer. After completing her army service, she returned to her teaching duties at Bowfield campus, where she dealt with students with behavioural problems. It was here that she realised that there were some outdoor elements of army life and culture that could have some positive effects on some of her students. Pam reached out to the Defence Force uh, and some, uh, some of their personnel to set up a program for these young people, with the Army providing personnel, stores and logistic support, without which the program uh, would uh, not have been able to uh, function. She conducted one exercise in 1991 with a modest 35 student participants. By 1993, she was conducting three exercises with a total of 99 participants. Over the next two years, young people sourced from the South Australian education system took part in PAM's program, with a number of staff from the education department joining Defence Force personnel to provide voluntary support. The South Australian Police Department were also quick to jump on board after seeing the, po uh, the project as a positive initiative to prevent crime. To date, the program has now assisted 6,000 young people and now conducts five exercises each year in the northern Flinders Ranges. Small teams of, of students are inserted into the remote bush to trek about 100 kilometres over an eight-day period. It's an intense physical, emotional uh, and psychological challenge, but one Operation Flinders says gives participants the chance to expand their view of the world to a point where they actually see other people uh, virtually for a first time and they realise the world has far more to offer than they had ever thought. Once the program commences, the students are expected to complete it. There is no opportunity to opt out, as uh, they might when faced with challenges in their daily life. During the program, the team walks in a predetermined route around the property to finish in the vicinity of where they first started. The distance of daily walks varies generally between 10 and 15 kilometres per day. The young students are also required to take charge and be responsible for campsite cleanliness, cooking the meals, building the fire and other duties required to maintain the camp area. <coughs> Other activities include daily cross-country hikes, abseiling, team building activities, bush survival skills, navigation and first aid skills, and an understanding of Aboriginal culture and the history of the Flinders Ranges. Over the eight-day period, students tend to go through four phases. First, there is the storming period, where the participants complain about the physical aspects of the camp and object to the discipline. Some of them drop to the ground and refuse to move on, with an adult team leader staying with them until they work out that they don't actually get to eat until they make it to base camp. Then comes the morning phase, where the students come to terms with the situation they find themselves in. They're still not happy, but they accept the situation. The third phase is performing, where they start to work well as a team and with high spirits they start to enjoy the experience. And the final stage is, uh, is mourning, where they regret that things are coming to an end. During my weekend in the Flinders Ranges, I met with some of the student participants and it was great to hear their stories. I chatted with a young lad who uh, uh, took me aside and he showed me how he'd set up his hoochie the science of, uh, of, of how to set it up so a snake might not end up in it, uh, so that the wind might not uh, blow the wrong direction of the night time. 
uh, uh, managing <laughs> rain, which rarely happens up there. But this young boy, uh, young man I might say, was very, very proud of the knowledge that he'd uh, uh, d um, uh, taken on board over the last uh, uh, three or four days and was uh, happy to repeat it as though it was his own and as though he was the world's expert in that particular field. I also spoke to a, uh, a student who was uh, part of a family of ten, actually, uh, and he was out, uh, had been sent out uh, to participate in the program. And on this particular day, he was the leader. He was the team leader. And he told me of his experience. He said to me, uh, uh, Senator Patrick, when I first uh, started this morning as a leader for my first time, I just shouted at everyone. Uh, but I realised that didn't work. And so with a bit of coaching from uh, the adult team leaders, he uh, managed how to uh, be a leader throughout the day. Fantastic stories from young people that would otherwise be troubled. I was also lucky enough to try out some of the other activities, including abseiling. Whilst I were there, there were 101 students in the field uh, in 11 teams, spread out over Operation Flinders, uh, 563 square kilometre remote property, and it is a really remote property. Uh, it's funny there were uh, 11 teams out there, and not once did they cross each other, each other's paths. So very, very interesting. Now, 26% of our Operation Flinders funding comes from the, the South Australian state government, um, and I'm happy and pleased to state that Premier uh, Marshall is a great supporter of the program. About 20 per cent comes from the corporate sector, 20 per cent from uh, service clubs and local councils, with the rest coming from uh, philanthropy and fundraising events. Perhaps there is a role the Commonwealth could play in this. It's a proven intervention for youth at risk to keep them out of the justice system. So perhaps it has application in other states, and I'm happy to uh, take uh, queries from any other senator who might wish to understand this program uh, and perhaps uh, 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 see that it might come to their own state as well. So I implore the federal uh, government to take a closer look at this life-changing uh, program. Thank you, uh, Madam Deputy President.